Texas, and we're talking about energy and energy fields. And if you've ever heard the term that a person sucks the life out of you or drains you of your energy, it makes David Price Francis think of vampires. And of course, we're just two days past Halloween, David. Yes. Good time to talk about a lot of the uh, scary sorts of things that you actually do cover in your book yes. and it's under a chapter relating to addictions where you yes. talk about vampires. Yes, yes indeed. Not because you believe in vampires though. No, well, not, not physically. I don't believe that vampires exist physically, but they certainly exist energetically and have been known about for thousands of years in that way. In the Middle Ages, they referred to as names like succubus and homunculi and very strange names. There was a guy called Bram Stoker just in the beginning of the Victorian, in the Victorian era. He wrote the first Dracula book. He was trained in energies. He was a member of an esoteric society and he learned about energetics. And he put some of the knowledge about lower energies and how they work into the vampire stories. They became part of the ethos. So the symbology of the vampire is actually very profound from an energy world standpoint. Example, vampires can't see themselves in the mirror. That's because they're energies. They don't exist physically. Uh, vampires don't like holy water. Holy water is charged water, which has a high electrical charge. Low energies don't like being in the presence of high energies. They run away. Uh, another example, when it's like, whoa, back, vampire, you know this thing? The cross. The cross. The, the cross originally is a symbol for the planet. And silver energy is one of the most potent energies to do with uh, planetary nature. So they put a silver cross, specifically. And the silver and the cross were representing forces that are too high for the vampire. Other very interesting things. Vampires are associated with the full moon. Full moon is the time when, it's like the Halloween celebration only two days ago. When, when there's that orange and black celebration of Halloween, it was a window, it was the end of the Celtic year, the last day of the Celtic year, and it was the day they felt there was a window in which spirits and spooky things could actually appear before the first day of the new year on what became in Christian terms All Souls Day. So what would they put in the window? This relates oh, to vampires as well. Totally, they put garlic in the window. Mm -hmm. um, in North American tradition, it's the dream catcher. Same function. What the dream catcher does, it doesn't catch dreams, it catches the bad energies that cause dreams. The garlic is designed to absorb lower energy. It's also why they'd use um, holy smoke in churches. Mm. You've heard the expression holy smoke. Holy smoke, holy water. That word holy describes something with a high energy. And the smoke was designed to, again, cause the vampire energies to retreat. Well, you know, this has been fascinating because, really, I mean, there have been so many movies and books, and, I mean, there are television shows all the time about vampires. Now we know and understand a lot more, but you raised another point just two, to get two days ago, Halloween. Uh, you said that that could relate to the fact that a lot of people say they're very tired at this time of year. We think it's the seasonal change, the lack of light. What do you think it might be? Well, I think behind the seasonal change and the lack of light, there's a change of energies because the energies change first and then the physical follows through. Just like you have an idea first and then you do it. It's always the energy happens first. This particular energy shift, part of what it does, it's uh, to do with the power of the moon. The moon is like a major magnet in the sky. It draws energies to itself, particularly lower energies, and so it drains people of energy. It's not by chance that we use the expression lunacy. We don't say star sea. We talk about the moon. And the vampires are associated with the moon and Halloween and full moon and werewolves at full moon. All that stuff is usually about the moon. Well, you never know how broad the topics are going to be <laughs> when you embark on an Energy World conversation with David Price Francis. When we come back after the 1230 news, we're going to talk about clearing energy. And it's sort of what feng shui is about, but David's going to approach it in a different way. And uh, you may um, ask yourself diff different questions when you're in church. Why do the church bells ring? Why do we burn frankincense? We'll be back after the 12.30 with more of David Price Francis.